I am asking other presenters. Just a moment. You have ne the next presentation also. Yeah. Okay. Uh, please uh, hurry up. Okay. I will be quick. We can pass uh, to introduction part. And uh, this presentation about the utilization of the Europe powders with the different size as a formaldehyde emission scale uh, ranger in the particle board manufacturing. And I can be first. This is, I just want to show you, uh, this, this is the uh, formaldehyde class, formaldehyde emission class. For, uh, you can see from here, this is the E0. Mr. Khair, uh, I'm sorry, we can't see, we can't see your... Uh, ah, I'm sorry, you, okay. You didn't share the screen. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yes. Now, is it okay? Yes, it is okay. Okay. And this is the uh, formaldehyde class, formaldehyde emission class. Just I want to show you. Uh, for amount, uh, milligram per uh, 100 gram. Yes. The aim of the study is the, was to determine the effect of the powders with a different size as a formaldehyde emission scavenger in the particle board manufacturing. And also we uh, again uh, produce three layers particle boards and formaldehyde content was determined by the perforator method according to the EN 120 standards. Uh, our materials here, fine chips for the uh, uh, surface layer and also again coarse chips for the uh, core layer. Uh, we use for this study 1.25 mole uh, euroformaldehyde resin with a 65% uh, solid, solid contents and ammonium chloride with a 25% uh, solid contents we use as a hardener. First, uh, this is the Europe powders. Europe powders screen and pass from the uh, 0.2 millimeter sieve were used as small size Euro powder and uh, Euro powders in size between one millimeters and 0 0.2 millimeters sieve were used as a large size Euro powder, included stain on one millimeter and 0 0.2 millimeter sieve. And this is our uh, exper experimental design. Uh, we use the same rate of the uh, resin, all the uh, layers, and we use uh, uh, five different rate of the uh, small uh, uh, Europe powder and also uh, five different rate of the uh, large Europe powder. Uh, depending on the experimental design, first particles are uh, and Europe powder were dry mixed in a high intensity mixer. Then Euroformaldehyde resin, which has hardener, added into uh, the high intensity mixer to produce homogeneous plants. Uh, the plants were laid into the, the same uh, frame uh, in the first uh, study. Uh, this is our uh, press uh, pr production parameters. This is the press pressure, 90, uh, between 19 and uh, 120 bar. Target thickness is uh, 19 millimeters. Press temperature is 205 uh, Celsius degrees. And press time is the 210 seconds. Uh, I think I can pass from here. And again, the same uh, nine samples for each group and the three samples for each manufactured board were examined for all properties testing. Uh, mean of the density and moisture uh, contents after the pressing, you can see from here, uh, the density there uh, near each other, I think, we uh, produce pores. And this is the moisture contents. They are also uh, close to each other. And uh, uh, when the density interaction graphs are examined, it is seen that as the amount of the Europe power increases, board density were slightly decreasing, 
However, the effect of the euro published size and euro published amount on this change was not found to be statistically significant. For Maldit content, as you can see from the interaction uh, graph, when the first item of the euro published for Maldit content was sharply declined. However, after first loading, every uh, one person added was not as effective on the formal lead content as the first edition. You can see from the graph. This is the sharply decline and uh, it's continued just slightly uh, for the formal lead contents. And the control group board boards in the E2 formal lead emission class were upgraded to the E0 class by using a 5% small URE for powder. Large euro powder groups showed parallel result with small one. We can see from here. Yes, Inter uh, internal bond properties <coughs> based on the result, both euro powder size and amount had a significant effect on the IB strength values. With the adding of the euro powder in the uh, IB values were reduced. A small size euro powder group were provided better IB properties than the large one. The board produced with as all small size euro powder groups satisfy standard requirements for IB properties, except the five uh, percentages uh, of that group. For light size groups, while uh, one person and uh, two persons use groups were satisfied, other were not. You can see from here that the standard poly is the 0 0.20 uh, 35 megapascal for the IB test. Uh, for the bending test, uh, we can both euro powder size and you can see the from the ANOVA test values from here. Both euro powder size and amount had significant effect on the uh, bending strength properties. With the addition of the euro powder, bending strength properties were reduced, but all the manufactured boards were provided standard requirements except large size with five persons using. From here, you can see uh, the, the standard volume for the uh, bending strength is the 13 megapascal. This is the uh, modulus of elasticity. I'm sorry. Yes. Parallel results were observed with the bending strength properties with the loading of Euro uh, powder uh, of, uh, modulus of elasticity properties were declined. And surface soundness, uh, size of the Euro powder has a statistically significant effect on the surface strength feature. Uh, small size are uh, Euro powder groups provided better surface strength values than the large size. The amount of the euro powder has a significant effect on the surface strength values. All the produced boards groups showed higher result than the standard values. Standard values is the 0 0.8 mega Pascal required for P2 class uh, particle board. Uh, I think I, you can test the screen with travel strength and uh, this is the physical properties. Uh, I think I use to go to the this summary of the work. We can see from here, this is the control group for the formaldehyde content. This is the uh, formaldehyde emission uh, A, uh, E2 class. Uh, but after we used the, the a small or large uh, Euro powder, uh, as a uh, formaldehyde scavenger, uh, they, uh, uh, provided the, uh, they provided the standard requirements for the uh, formaldehyde contents. And you can see from here, just uh, uh, for small size, just uh, five persons of uh, Euro powder used boards uh, not satisfied for the IB test but the other, uh, other, uh, uh, other uh, properties were, were satisfied for the standards. From the table, it was clearly seen that the size and amount of the Euro powder using have a statistically significant effect on the board's properties. The best results were obtained by using five persons of small size Euro powders for formal lead contents. 
The first adding of euro powder formaldehyde content was sharply declined. However, after first loading, mm -hmm. every everyone uh, it, it will be finished. Just uh, one second. Every uh, one person added was not as effective on the formaldehyde content as the first edition. In addition, each uh, one person's euro powder added highly affects the mechanical and physical properties. As a result of study, it, it has been observed that euro powder can be used as a formaldehyde scavenger, re, uh, reducing the formaldehyde emission, which is dangerous for human health, is one of the main goals of every manufacturer. It is thought that this study can be quite for good based board manufacturers. It should be investigated whether the studies are suitable for mass production by working more and cost studies should be done. Thank you. Uh, for your attention and patience. Okay, thank you.